This video is the answer of a question I got. The question is prove that an abelian group with two elements of order 2 must have a subgroup of order 4. So we pick a group G. Uh, G is a billion. Okay, so it's a commutative group. Okay. And we know that there are elements A and B in G with two elements of order 2 where uh, a squared equals the identity and b squared equals the identity. Okay, so g by hypothesis g is a billion and in this group g there are two elements of order 2. This is the order of an element. How many times do you have to perform the operation on an element in order to get the identity? That's what the order of an element is. So A has order 2 and B has order 2, 2. You can uh, check my other videos for all this. And under these conditions, we have to prove that we must, if, if G is under these conditions, it must have a subgroup of order 4, meaning G um, uh, must have a, uh, let's call it H, G must have a subgroup of, a subgroup H where the uh, order of H is 4. So we have to prove this. By the way, this was asked by Pavan Kumar. Okay, let us provide a proof for this. Okay, an abelian group with two elements of order 2 must have a subgroup of order 4. Okay, so let G be an abelian group, the one given in the question, and let a and B be elements in G and the order of A equals the order of B equals 2 so A times A you get the identity so the order of A is 2 and B times B you get the identity so the order of B is 2 so they both have so A and B have the same order okay so uh, first we have to show um, so we want to show that this set identity element A, element B well the other element has to be AB we want to show that this is a subgroup of G okay and obviously this group has order 4 Okay, so we want to show this because we we have uh, G being a billion. The question is G B and being a billion having two elements of order two. It must have a subgroup of order four. So we say we claim this is the subgroup. It must have a subgroup like this. So we want to show that this is <coughs> a subgroup of G of order four. Okay. Okay. So in order to be a subgroup, we have to prove all properties of a group, right? So first let us prove that it is closed under the, the operation. So we provide here a Cayley table, okay, where E, so the, the elements E, A, B, A, B, E, A, B, A, B, E times the identity times these elements is to stay the same, the identity times these elements stay the same, a times A, A squared, A times B, A, B, A times A, B, A squared, B, B times A, B, A, I'm respecting the order, B times B, B squared, B times A, B, B, A, B, A, B times A, A, B, A, 
Is this correct? Yes. AB times B, AB, B, AB, AB. Okay, but uh, we saw that A squared equals the identity, right? And B squared 2, because the order of A equals the order of B equals 2, right? So we get the identity with A squared. Okay, so another thing is AB equals BA. Why? Because the group is a billion. Okay, so let us replace this element with this information. Okay, so I made this the okay, for instance, a squared, a squared equals the identity, so we have the identity here. A B stays the same. A squared is the identity, so it would be identity B. Identity times B is B. A B stays the same. B squared is the identity. B A B is A. Okay. And uh, here A B. So this is B, right? And um, a, B, B, because this is a commutative group, right? So this is like A squared B, A squared is the identity. This is, this is like A, B, A, this is like A squared B. So this is the identity, okay? So this is B, okay? A, B, B, A, B, A, B, and that's the identity, okay? So we just proved through the KD table that this um, set is a subset and it is closed under the operation and using now the finite subgroup test so by the finite subgroup test if a non-empty subset is closed then it is a subgroup please check if I I don't know if I made a video of this finite subgroup test if I didn't I can I can I can make a video with a proof for this. So we proved through the, the Cayley table that the, 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 uh, this subset is closed under the same operation as G. So the set, this set with four elements, with order four, is a subgroup of G and a subgroup of order four as it is uh, required. Well, still an important argument. Okay, we have a subgroup and it does order 4. But the question is, uh, what if two of these elements, what if they are the same? That's a, a, a... Can two elements of this subgroup be the same? Because this would really uh, make all our argument wrong, right? Okay. Um, we know that neither A, A is not the identity, and B is not the identity. Why? Because A has order 2 by hypothesis, that's in the question, and B has order 2. So this cannot happen. Neither A or B will be the identity. Okay, so far so good because the identity has always order 1, that's obvious. Okay, now that we know that A cannot be the identity and B cannot be the identity, what, so this one no problem, this one no problem, what about AB? What if AB is the identity? Or uh, the, best, the best question is what, so AB cannot be the identity, but what if AB equals A or AB equals B? If A equals AB, this is a, a abelian group. So you multiply by the left inverse, okay, and you get the identity here equals B. And we saw here that that's not possible. B is not the identity. So A cannot be equal to AB. And what if B equals AB? Okay. If B equals AB, this is an abelian group, so you right multiply, and then you get here, you get the identity, okay, and here you get the identity too, so 
E equals A. So A would be the identity. We saw here that A cannot be the identity. So here A cannot, so he, sorry, here B cannot be equal to AB. So A cannot be the identity, B cannot be the identity, and AB cannot be A and cannot be B. So our last problem is AB being the identity. So what if AB is the identity? If the AB is the identity, then you left multiply, we are on a billion group, so you left multiply both, both sides. Here you get the identity, identity times B equals B. Here, identity times inverse B equals the inverse of A. So, if what if AB is the identity? You left multiply by the inverse. Here you get the identity. So, B. And you left multiply. A inverse times the identity equals A inverse. So, B would be equal to A inverse. But, in the question, A is of order 2, right? So, A squared equals the identity. If A squared equals the identity, if you write multiply by A, A would be equal to A inverse. Okay, so A is the inverse of itself. A times A equals the identity. So, A is its own inverse, like here, okay. Oh, so this cannot be possible, it's not possible, because um, it is proved in another video that in a group, if an element, the inverse of an element, can only be one. Inverses are unique, so B and A inverse, these two cannot be both inverse of A because inverses are unique. So it is proven that AB cannot be the identity too. So AB cannot be the identity. So these four elements, they will all be different. So we have four distinct, distinct elements and so the order of the subgroup is four. So it is proved that an abelian group with two elements of order 2 must have a subgroup of order 4. And this is the subgroup.